So if you want to share a Google Doc, just open up the Google Doc, click share, and then just if you want to add the emails, you can. You can also add a Google group, but also you can change the privacy settings, make it public or anyone with a link, and switch it from view to can edit. And if you do that, then anybody that has the link, which is at the top, just copy that link, will be able to edit the document. The document will have a lot of anonymous comments, so you won't be able to tell who edited it, but then anybody with the link can edit it. Up to 50 people or 100 can edit simultaneously. Um, however, if you want to make sure you know who is editing and then you can track who edited what parts, then you have to invite them manually. You have to type their names, emails, and based on your email list, they'll show up or your Google+. Plus. Um, apart from that, you um, are able to then see the revision history when you go to file and you'll be able to see when different edits were made and you can see a detailed revision history or a less detailed revision history and go back to any edit if you want to as well. What that allows you to do is to not really have to worry about people messing up the document necessarily because you can go back and revert to any prior version of the Google Doc if you have to. And that's pretty much uh, editing 101. Um, if for some people they're having problems editing, it might be because the settings are not right, but if they are allowed to edit because it's either everybody can edit or their emails have been added individually, then they should be able to modify the document without any problems. Thanks.